Well, for me, um, you know, we were pretty clear from the offset that I wasn't going to be doing an, imp an impression of Jan, but I really wanted to capture his spirit and, you know, his essence. And so from the moment I attached to the project, I reached out, we spoke on the phone for a few hours, and then we met up at Silverstone and we hung out and we just kept having conversations, conversations, and I just wanted to get as embedded and as involved in his world as possible when Jan so graciously so kindly was so open and honest and and gave me so much context so much information so I could build this character that really felt like Jan's story was also trying to make this guy feel relatable and like an everyman um, that people really could could see themselves in when they watched the story I'm not afraid I've raced this track a thousand times in the game let me drive it my way that was actually pretty great. And the thing is, I think all it, all it comes down to it is, is Jan is so kind and normal. And so um, he just is this normal young guy who just realized this impossible dream. And, and that is that is the incredible thing about the film. And that is, I think, the message for all these sim drivers. When people, people say, oh, but, you know, that must be so hard. It couldn't happen. Like, it literally happened to Jan. And so we just wanted to make sure that that story was told, that arc, that how incredibly, how incredibly approachable, normal, and lovely Jan was as a young guy to finding himself in this unbelievable situation. I wanted that to come across on screen. and. Hopefully it kind of did, I hope so, we'll see. <laughs> it's an unusual situation for me, still. Uh, I've known about it for many years and you know, been involved at the start. It's still a strange situation, but uh, we've got the right people involved. Archie did amazing. In my career, I'm a sportsman. I'm a very selfish person, I just do me. And then this has come off the back of that, which is fantastic. I hope that people can gain positivity out of my story um, because it's a, there's a lot of life in there. It's not so easy, um, but I love what I do. And hopefully people watching this can maybe pursue something, pursue their passions, pursue what gives them purpose as well. Um, because the film really shows, shows that. That's, that's how I've lived my life. The worst day for me, I'm sorry, was any day I had to be in the car. Um, there was a particularly bad, there was a, there was a particularly bad day. And I don't know if this, maybe this really grosses people out, but this is, this was my truth, and so I'll tell you. Uh, but I was already, I was always getting sick in the car, but I had a tapeworm while we were shooting. And we, and Ooh. I was, and so, I, yeah, that exactly. But I was like, I don't want to take any time off. I want to keep, I want to be a good number one. I'm going to keep pushing through. But I was like, you know, a worm was literally eating my nutrients. And so I was in the car, I was in this car going 160, 70 miles an hour, throwing up because of the car, feeling weak. And I remember getting out of the car and everyone looked at me and I was green. And it, as soon as I stepped out, everybody gasped. Everyone gasped and said, please go to your trailer and lie down. We need you to lie down. So I went, I fell on the floor, like it was in new, like a fetal position. And then Neil texted me like, dude, I've got to put you back in the car. <laughs> I was like, okay, 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 okay. And that day, especially, that was a hard day to get through. Best day? Any, any scene we did in Tokyo, that was just unbelievable. I mean, dream come true. We got to shoot at Kayubi Ginza, which is one of the best sushi restaurants in the world. And the chefs were cooking us food, were like making us sushi all night. So amazing. Tapeworm, sushi, highs and lows. My worst day wasn't as bad as your day. <laughs> like, uh, I guess the worst day, or well, the most difficult day, it wasn't bad, it was just very difficult, was we were filming in the dark and because the camera people obviously need headlights in the dark, so we're pitch black and there's spotlights everywhere around the circuit and it's raining, they've got these rain towers and a racing car is very tight and claustrophobic anyway and the wipers don't really do anything for the rain anyway because there's so much spray. But then the production people wanted to cover the, the headlights with a film so the headlights didn't work. They also painted the circuit um, and the paint wasn't dry so when we'd drive over these painted tarmac, we would get not only water coming onto the windscreen, which wasn't getting cleared anyway, but paint. 
So you couldn't see where you're going because of the paint, and then you couldn't see where you're going as well because the headlights didn't work. And yet we're trying to film, do these choreographed scenes doing 120 miles an hour, in, and the, the car just turns into a boat because there's so much water on the circuit. That was tough. That's showbiz, baby. Mm. <laughs>